In the previous sessions, I've been preparing to start writing the project charter. The next step is to define the process. What is the process that we can follow to create a charter and to be sure that the charter contains all the information? So in this session, I will look at a three-step process. It will be a short session, but it's preparing the three follow-up sessions related to these processes. So the three-step process overview shows you step one, which is composed of three sub-steps. The first one is determine the real need. Here we will identify the real need that will be addressed by the project. We will define how the end product will look like. And finally, we will determine the priorities that have an impact on this project. In step two, we will look at three parallel steps. The first one is to develop the project objective, which is in fact the core part of the charter. Here we will describe in specific and short terms without any technical jargon what the project is about. The second step here is the change control process. How do we manage or how will we manage the change control in our project? And the last part is to set up the project infrastructure. How do we organize the project? All these process steps brought together will create the project charter. This overview gives you a step-by-step -step approach to write a good charter. Of course, you can use this template as a guiding process for creating your charter. You can adjust it to your specific needs and update it whenever you find things that can be improved. So at the end of the three-step process, you get your project charter. So in the next steps, we will continue. In the next sessions, you will see step one, step two, and then step three. And the final result will be the charter. A lot of important work ahead, but I'm sure you can do it. And it's very important for you as a project manager. So keep on going, keep the good work, and I will see you in the next session.